Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 260A. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 268 to 275. Hey, look, we have some rows of numbers here, and we want to highlight in red the maximum in each row. Let's see how to do that, though, with uh, conditional formatting. I'm going to get rid of this because I already have it there. I'm going to Alt-O-D and then click Delete Rule. Hey, Alt-O-D is the keyboard shortcut from earlier versions. In 2007, you got to highlight, or 2003 too, you highlight, and you always got to be aware of the active cell with conditional formatting when you're doing a formula like this. Home, over in Styles and Conditional Formatting, and New Rule. In 2003, you go to the Formatting menu and then Conditional Formatting. Now, I never do that. I just use the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D. It works in both versions. We want a new rule. And in this version, you have to go New Rule and then click on this uh, formula to determine which cells get formatting in there. In 2003, there's just a little text box with a drop down, and you point to Formula Is. Now, what's the logic here? Max in this whole row here. So watch this. In this, with your cursor flashing, you click in the first cell for the first row. And you hit the F4 key to get rid of the dollar signs. Because we're asking the question, a true false logical question, is any cell in this whole uh, data set here equal to the max in the row? So that needs to be relative. And then we say equals. And then we type max, open parentheses. And we highlight just the row. Now here's the trick. Right now, if we left this, um, it, it would always check. Uh, A1 to E1, but we want to hit the F4 key once and twice. That locks it across the columns, but not across the rows. So this formula, we'll close parentheses, this formula is stored in memory, and it's as if it got stored in this cell. It gets copied over and down, so it'll give a true false for every um, cell. Now our format. We're going to do red fill. In earlier version, that said pattern. And then font, I'm going to do color, font color white. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Now I have this randomized, so if I uh, do anything to the spreadsheet, it changes. And sure enough, it'll update. And it'll uh, tell us when there's a duplicate, too. So that's how to do true, false, um, max in row. Please get highlight. All right, we'll see you next trick.